one. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Daniel from Real Family Adventures. I bring you here to Claremont Colleges and the village here in Claremont. Stick around to the end. I have a couple filming spots for you that were in some TV shows and some movies. Don't go away. I'm gonna take a moment to show you some of the housing that's in this area. I was respectful enough to uh, block the actual address, but this is Claremont Village. Beautiful homes. I need to do my balance with my arms. Mm-hmm. Sister, I know I am. Yes, you are. You're a big sister. I know how to do this and everything. I'm a sister. Wow. Good job. You're getting big. Ta -da! Nice rock statue, huh? This is the site of the post office here in Claremont, California, located in the village. Old post office. Road is the post office. You have these little shops. Kind of movie-esque type uh, street here. Something that would be fe featured in a movie. Here's another shot of this little street here in the Claremont Village. Reminds me of one of those little movie towns where they would shut this place down. Actually, I have seen this used as a shooting location on several occasions when I was growing up. This is the city hall located in the Claremont Village here. Everything is small and cute. Just a little town. Another street shot. Claremont's 4th of July celebration. I guess they forgot to take this down, but they actually canceled it this year. They did not have a celebration. The library across the street there. And the post office. Although it may be hard to read, I'm just gonna give you a quick summary. This city hall itself, the original building, or first of the three buildings, was built in 1925. Just wanted to give a quick mention of the sculpture that is outside of the city hall. Each one of the engravings on this sculpture actually represents a type or species of tree. Being that we're in Claremont, the city of trees, this was dedicated to the city of Claremont. It's hard to tell on screen, but there are engravings on here. This is actually one of the facilities for the Claremont Colleges. It's not a residence. Looks like it could have been in one of the horror movies. So here we are at the entrance to Pomona College. Famous stepping stones, so to speak, entrance. 
so just to name a couple movies that were actually filmed on location here over the top starring Sylvester Stallone one of the locations within Pomona College was actually an academy within that movie that was filmed in 1987 another movie that was shot here that actually stood in to represent Stanford University was in 1988 Beaches with Bette Midler also a 2001 movie Pearl Harbor was also shot here in Pomona College Marston Quad became the White House Rose Gardener for a day I wanted to show you guys this uh, little quad area this is their artsy area where they have some theater productions and whatnot it's rumored that several TV shows and movies were set with these as their backdrops Nice rock. This is one of the well known theater halls, Bridges Hall. Um, if I'm sure if you look this up online, you'll definitely see that many, many shows and episodes where you know they had this infrastructure on the outside. Just another view of uh, Bridges Hall for you guys. The old structure, as stated previously, was on some uh, TV episodes and movies. They shot the exterior portion of it. Come back. Look at. We have the stairs. I saw this bench here and I could not help but to think of Forrest Gump. I don't know why, but I liked it. Back in the distance is another popular hall that's also a filming location here at Pomona College. taking a short trip back to my mention of the 2001 movie Pearl Harbor where they actually used this location as the Rose Garden to the White House this is called Marston Quad this would have been the, the Rose Garden itself in the front lawn in the 2001 movie Pearl Harbor Another shot of some of the Pomona campus. What these students are so fortunate to come to. It's a beautiful site. If you ever have time to come and visit it. Pomona College in Claremont, California. Historical college. Not only is it beautiful, it has some of the best education in the country. little closer view of these learning facilities I'm not sure if they're actually are actual lecture rooms or if this is living quarters I'm not too sure oh don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. What are you doing? Look it. What are you doing? Look it over there. Yeah. I was walking to you. You're walking to me? What, what is that up there? 
I hear a lot of squirrels up there. Peter W. Stanley Academic Quadrangle. <laughs> Quad. Almost like a, a mission type architecture in the background there. It's pretty. Here's that water fountain a little closer. Want you guys to see the architecture on this thing. Papa, touch it, Papa. I'll touch him a little bit, baby. benches around this water fountain. I'm just gonna come and hang out. Maybe grab lunch. Take a moment away from the busyness of life. And just relax. Every once in a while we need to slow down. Let's go through this trail. Go, 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 let's go through the trail, let's go through the trail. Go, 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 go. I'm right behind you, I'm right behind you. This is Pearson's Hall here at uh, Pomona Colleges. Just the exterior shot. You can see the trees have almost grown over the building itself. stumbled across this wall, the Clarence T. Stover Memorial Walk. Just thought it was pretty cool. Pretty large marble wall. Thank you all for watching this episode from Real Family Adventures. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. It helps support this channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.